Hey guys, it is episode 65 and I went off down to the orchard again this morning and I did some injecting and it was awesome. Came back and had a really, really interesting chat with my admirable friend and which got into my, my pet subject, the one that I love the most is the difference between men and women. <laughs> We were talking about war, of course. So I had to go off about how this and that. Yeah. I like that. Thank you for letting me. <laughs> Isn't it nice talking to people? You can talk to people and you can each say how you think. And then that's it. <laughs> you don't need to fight and you don't need to defend yourself. And you don't need to feel that you need to justify your opinion. You can just say what you think. Anyway, so, yes. So, what am I going to talk about today? I have been listening to a Dharma talk on mistakes. And I loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. So, a little while ago, I um, put up a little inspirational quote by the Buddha. And somebody um, mentioned underneath, or said underneath, that um, the Buddha had left his wife and child in their palace and had gone off to sit under a tree and starve himself for six years. And screw that guy. And we thought that was so interesting. Like, I didn't know that the Buddha had done that. I might have known that at some level. But like it was like, wow, really? People hold it against the fellow for going and sitting under a tree. You see, I would have thought that if my husband was having an issue, I would way rather he'd gone and sit under a tree and, and solved his issue than stayed home with me and my kids. I would actually really have liked my husband to go away and pull his head in and come back and be the sort of husband that he needed to be for me to be the sort of wife that I needed to be for us to raise the children that we needed to raise. But no, we didn't do that. And I am not trying to blame my husband. My husband's. You say that, that is just such a fallen woman thing to say, my husband's. My husband's are not in the wrong anymore then I'm in the wrong. I want you to know that that's what I believe. We jointly really screwed things up. And from me being in a situation where I am 50% to blame for everything that happened, I'm aware that there is a better way. There's a better way to resolve conflict. There's a better way than what I managed to do. And a lot of people get it and they do it and that's not who I'm here for. I'm here for the people like me who are also searching for answers. I'm here because you'll say your thing and I'll say my thing. And somewhere in the middle, we'll maybe understand each other if we're lucky. Because that's the joy and the beauty of having a relationship. Anyway, so Buddha made a mistake and today I was listening to a talk where the person said the Buddha made a mistake. He went away for six years and he sat under a tree. And I thought that's so good. You know, you can say he, he sat under a tree and you can say screw that guy and not be motivated by a motivational quote. And that's okay. That's, that's a legitimate thing. Some people need to just walk away. But there's also the opportunity of saying, wow, look at that guy. So many people like him. So many people think that what he says was such a great idea that they want to copy it. And yet, he screwed up big time. Yeah, that's the thing that I like. That's the bit that I like. I like it that... I like it that people who have done a lot better than me have also done as badly as I've done. I don't know if that's actually true. I think I'm yeah, pretty much 
hold the world record. Okay, so. Making a mistake for us right here, right now, is when we are doing mindfulness and your mind wands away and your attention um, is lost, your attention on your breath is lost, your mind wanders off, you have made a mistake. Now, you don't need to be angry about that mistake or judgmental. You just need to be brave enough and strong enough to say to yourself, whoa, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have been wandering off there. I'm focusing on my breath. Right breath, where are you? Right mind, here we go. And you go back to it. And that to me is the most amazing picture of what life is about. You see yourself making a mistake of wandering away from the straight and narrow. You see yourself um, saying something or writing something or, oh, you know, all that stuff when you think, oh, yeah, was that maybe the right thing to say? And, and that's why I like writing, because when I write, I can, I can delete it. <laughs> Once I've opened my mouth, it's too late. But when I write and I put it down and then I look at it and then I reread it and I think, yeah, actually, I really believe that. I want to go with it. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Anyway, so what, am I, what was I saying? I was saying something about um, mindfulness and losing concentration. And I was saying the losing concentration is the mistake. The bringing the concentration back back to the breath is the resolution of the mistake and once you have resolved the mistake you then need to congratulate yourself and reward yourself for resolving your mistake of wandering off by returning now you've returned now you're rewarding yourself with because you've returned now this is all mind games right so the mind game that you're going to play with yourself now as your reward is to wish good will will to yourself now there should be a drum roll or symbols or something but that is so amazing just try it <laughs> I tried it. I don't know if there's a hormone that's released or I got such a rush of pleasure. My mind felt all sort of rosy and glowy and happy. I wished goodwill to myself because I caught my mind wandering and I returned it. Like, can you believe it? Okay, you can't believe it because you haven't tried. But I'm going, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew that just wishing yourself goodwill has such a powerful effect on your mood? You might be able to hear that I'm a little bit ranty. Elevated, they say. A little bit elevated. <laughs> anyway, I just had a really nice experience. I made a mistake, resolved a mistake, rewarded myself and experienced the actual reward in real time. And you know when the Buddha said this is it, this is actually happiness? It was something that was so powerful and so good that I would do it again in a flash. And I will. Tomorrow. Okay, and I recommend it to you. That's what I'm saying. I recommend it to you. It was great. And that is all. Just try it. Yeah, no, that's really all. Try it. So thank you very much for listening. And please remember to like the video. And if you know anybody else that you might think might want to listen or might benefit from listening, perhaps, please do not hesitate to share and I'll
will see you again tomorrow. Bye.